गुड मॉर्निंग हियर द टॉपिक इज ऑयलर सिक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन अलॉन्ग स्ट्रीम लाइन प्रीवियस टू दिस वन लेक्चर वॉज डेली वर्क ऑन ऑयलर सिक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन फॉर इरोगेशनल फ्लो ओके एंड हियर द टॉपिक इज ऑयलर सिक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन अलॉन्ग स्ट्रीम लाइन द रेजल्टिंग इक्वेशन इज सेम but the meaning is different okay you know the definition of streamline it is known to you a streamline is what it is an imaginary line tangent to which at any point represents the direction of the instantaneous velocity vector this definition is known to you so derive to derive that equation first of all let us take one streamline okay so suppose this is the stream line this is the direction of the stream line s s represents stream line and to derive the equation we need to take one fluid element which is cylindrical in shape this is a fluid element you can see one view which looks like a rectangle but it is actually a cylindrical that means this surface and this surface they are these are actually circular okay and this is the axis of the cylinder okay this is the axis of the cylinder and since we are dealing with euler equation of motion that means here also uh few assumptions are there first assumption is uh the flow is along a streamline that is the first assumption and second assumption is what the second assumption is the flow is in viscid that is non viscous means effect of viscosity will not be considered during the derivation of this equation okay so we have taken this fluid element and this fluid element uh, is having a constant mass okay means uh, this is a fluid element which is moving with the flow okay this is not a certain region fixed in space the identities of the particles inside the fluid element remain same with time okay there is no change so uh, the mass of the fluid element uh, remains constant okay so since mass of the fluid element remains constant therefore we are going to use newton's second law of motion in the form force is equal to mass into acceleration force is equal to mass into acceleration this form we are going to use since mass remains constant and if for the moving fluid element mass does not remain constant in that case we need to use this one f is equal to ddt of m into v means this is what this is momentum v is the velocity m into v means mass into velocity that is the momentum so this form needs to be used only when the mass does not remain constant but in case where mass remains constant this equation can be used okay actually both are not same they are different okay in special case this can be derived from this in special case okay when mass remains constant that is a special case so here we are dealing with this fluid element which is cylindrical okay so here what are the forces which are acting on the fluid element the forces are forces due to pressure and and weight of the fluid element okay only these two forces will be considered forces due to pressure and and weight of the fluid element so suppose on this surface okay the pressure is due to p and let us take the uh the length of the cylindrical fluid element to be delta s s for string line delta s so on the opposite surface what will be the pressure since it is at distance delta s says then here pressure will be p plus del p del s multiplied by delta s this much will be the pressure and also suppose area of this two surfaces both are same and these areas are suppose uh, areas are delta a okay so force will be what p into delta a here 
and here this multiplied by delta A. So area is how much? It is delta A. Delta capital A. That is the area. Okay. And from here, from the CG, center of gravity of this fluid element, the weight of the fluid element will be acting in the vertically downward direction. Okay. And uh, we are dealing with incompressible flow. Okay. Here, the flow is incompressible. So, since flow is incompressible, so density will remain constant. And suppose the density is rho. So, density is rho. So, what is the mass of the fluid element? That is density multiplied by the volume. And volume is how much? It is equal to delta S into delta A. Okay. Delta S into delta A is the volume. Multiplied by density is the mass. And multiplied by G is the weight of the fluid element. Which is acting in the vertically downward direction. Suppose this streamline and this weight makes an angle of theta. This is theta. Okay. Right. This is theta. Now, uh, now what? Uh, so, under the action of all these forces, the fluid element is moving and it is having an acceleration of A. Right. Now, in the direction of the streamline, what is the resultant force? What is the resultant force in the direction of the streamline? Say, the resultant force is denoted by F suffix S, S for streamline. Resultant force in the direction of streamline, this is equal to P, this pressure P multiplied by the area delta A, okay, minus, this is acting in the opposite direction, so minus P plus del P del S into delta S into delta A. Okay. This force is acting in the opposite direction and of course there will be a contribution of this weight along the direction of streamline. So here this component will be how much? In this direction it will be this much into cos theta. So with a negative sign I am going to write the same thing uh, here. It is rho delta S delta A g into cos theta. Right. So this is the resulting force and what is the result? This P into delta A and here minus P into delta A is there. So they are cancelled. So remaining thing is del P del S into delta delta S delta A minus rho delta S delta A g into cos theta. Right. This is the resulting force. Now suppose, uh, first we draw this line, this one I am drawing, and then streamline is this one, and now from here you draw one horizontal, okay, you know, you draw one horizontal, this is the streamline, so this distance is how much, say it is delta S, this vertical distance, okay, suppose this is delta Z, this vertical distance, and here this angle is theta, okay. Then what is the value of cos theta? Therefore from here we can see, write that cos theta is equal to, I have taken this much, delta S, okay, the length of the cylinder, that is delta S. Then from this end I have drawn one vertical, which is delta Z. And from this end of delta S, you draw one horizontal in this direction, which intersects this vertical line at this point. This way we have got this triangle. So obviously this angle is theta since this angle is theta. Therefore cos theta is equal to how much? This is equal to delta Z by delta S. This vertical distance is taken to be delta Z. Okay. And in the limit, in the limit when delta S approaches 0, when, when delta S approaches 0, obviously delta Z also will approach 0. So in that case, what will be the value of cos theta? In the limit, it will be equal to dz ds. It will be equal to dz ds and not, and not del z del s because, because z is a function of only s and nothing else. Okay, z is dependent upon only s. So this will be written with, a, with ordinary derivative sign. Huh? Okay, partial derivative should not be written. Ordinary derivative. Because J is dependent upon only S and nothing else. 
Okay, so cos theta is equal to dj ds, therefore I am writing the same thing here minus del p del s into delta s delta a minus rho delta s delta a g into dz ds. Okay, so this is the resulting force, resultant force in the direction of streamline. Now suppose v represents capital V, v represents the velocity of the fluid element. Therefore, obviously v is a function of what? S and t. Where t is small t is time, s is streamline. V is a function of s and t. Therefore, what is the acceleration of the fluid element? Acceleration denoted by as. A suffix s, s for streamline. So as, suppose this is, a, okay, as, this is equal to what? dv dt. dv dt, okay. So this is equal to what? This is equal to, this will be equal to what? I am showing here, since V is a function of S and T, therefore DV, this can be written as del V del S into DS plus del V del T into DT. Okay. Therefore, obviously, obviously DV DT is equal to what? DV DT is equal to del V del S into DS DT. Right? So similarly, I am uh, writing here, it is equal to del V del S, uh, whether the one most portion is visible or not, yeah, still it is visible. Uh, so del V del S into DS DT, okay, plus del V del T, right, S is equal to this much, and DS DT is equal to what? DS DT is nothing but velocity. Okay, ds is nothing but velocity, therefore, therefore I am writing here del v del t, del v del t plus v del v del s, right? So, s is equal to this much, del v del t plus v del v del s, just keep in your mind that this v represents velocity along the streamline, okay, means the velocity vector is uh, tangential at any point on the streamline. Okay, so see this velocity is velocity along the streamline. So this is the acceleration. Okay, now this is not required. So I am erasing this one. Okay, this is not required. So, so what? So now we are going to use this formula. Okay, force is equal to mass into acceleration. So force is this much. Therefore, we are doing the same thing minus del P del S into delta S delta A. This one minus rho delta S delta A uh, rho del G G DJ DS. Alright, and this is equal to what? This is equal to uh, uh, this is equal to this acceleration into mass. Mass is how much? Rho into delta S into delta A. This is the mass of the fluid element. Rho into delta S into delta A multiplied by this acceleration AS. Means this one. Okay. Del V del T plus V del V del S. So, del V del T plus V del V del S. Alright. So now you define both sides of this equation by rho delta s del rho delta s delta a. You just divide. So what you are getting? Del v del t is equal to v del v del s v del v del s, right? And here what we are getting in the right hand side you are getting minus one by rho del v del s, del p del s and minus, uh, minus g, g dz ds. Okay, so this is the resulting equation. This is the resulting equation, del p del t plus v del p del s is equal to minus 1 by rho, del p del s minus g dz ds. So this is the resulting equation and uh, this equation is known as Euler's equation of motion along a streamline. 
by using this equation we can easily derive Barnoulli's equation of motion along a streamline. Okay, few more assumptions we need to make. We need to make uh, for the derivation of Barnoulli's equation. First assumption will be uh, the flow is steady, therefore derivative of this part will be zero. Anyway, the derivation of Barnoulli's equation will be discussed in the next video. Okay, in this video only up to this will be there. I Euler's equation of motion along a streamline and this is the Euler's equation of motion along a streamline. Here the body force term has been taken to be only the weight of the fluid and nothing else. Other body force terms have been neglected here. Only the weight of the fluid has been taken to be as the uh, body force. Okay. So this is the end of this video. Okay. Uh, Okay, thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.